Hi Best Buds, it's Kathy with Kathy's Garden and I'm so happy that you've joined me today. Today we're going to make a small pamphlet with double corner pockets. But first let's have our shout out to the Electric College Cottage, I'm so sorry, the Electric Cottage, Pita, Donna, Levin, Doreen, Alice, and Reba. I appreciate each and every one of you. I have some digital here. here. This is a William and Morris, William Morris, not William and Morris, William Morris. This one I'm going to have to look up. And then I made one out of one of our collage sheets and I just printed it and coffee dyed it and I made one out of this as well. As the example, it has a lot of bee things and it'd be great for a bee journal. So let's begin. So what I want to do, now someone's going to ask me the size of this paper. It's approximately 10 and a half by 8. It is just coffee, copy weight paper that I have printed and then coffee dyed. Let's fold it with the print on the inside. So we're folding it in half the long way. Well, no, it's not the long way. The long way would have been the other way. <laughs> we're going to fold it in half and then we're going to fold it in half again. Just like that very simple. Now I'm going to go ahead and make two at once, so let's fold this one in half. Just like that, the same exact way, and then one more time. So just get it evened up here, and let's give it a little fold. Now I am going to run my sponge with my vintage photo, a <laughs> photo, <laughs> over the creases. I don't know what's going on here. <laughs> okay, we're just, uh, we're having a good time is what we're doing. All right, so just a little bit of ink on the folds. It just, I don't know, it just gives it that vintage look. Now what we'll want to do is we're going to want to hold it so it opens up like this and take, there's two pages here. We're going to take the top one and we're going to fold it down. Just directly down, just like this and crease it. I am going to get my sponge. I'm going to put a little more ink on it and I'm going to ink it up right here on this fold just so it's all consistent. Now if you do not ink then you don't have to worry about that step. Then what I want to do is I want to open it up and then I'm going to take there's two pages here. I'm going to take the top page and I'm going to fold it down to this fold and the fold is right here. I'll highlight it so you can see it better. And we're going to fold this right down to this fold. Now I leave a little tiny gap there. I don't fold it right down on top of it. I don't know. I just like the way it gives it a little more feel. It gives a little more stability. I, I just like that. So let's go ahead and let's do the exact same thing to this one. So what I want to do is I want to fold it and then open it up like this, all right? I'm going to take the top sheet. There's two sheets right here. I'm going to take the top sheet and fold it down, but I'm not folding it completely, you know, right to the, to the edge of the fold. I'm going to open it up. I'm going to ink it just a little bit right here. And then I'm going to open it up and then I'm going to take the top page and fold it down like we did the other one, just like this. And I'm going to fold it back on itself and just ink up that fold right there. I just like how that looks once it looks, once it's open. And then let's go ahead and let's ink the inside as well. All right, so that's wonderful. So now what I'd like to do is I would like to bring in my art glitter glue and I'm just going to place a little bit of glue here on this corner and glue it down. So we've got a, a corner pocket right here and I'm going to do the same thing on the inside. I'm going to lift it up and I'm going to add my glue right here. This is obviously, as you can see, a great mass make because you can take one sheet of paper, you're not going to have any scraps left over, and you can make yourself a beautiful piece of ephemera to go with, either in a pocket or a belly band. Just 
clip it with a altered paper clip onto another page. There's so many things you can do with these. You could actually place a couple of pages in here and have a little a little uh, signature inside. Now I like to open it completely and add just a little bit of glue right where this fold is just to help keep the pages together. This isn't necessary. You don't have to do this part. I just I just like it. To me it just um, keeps it from flipping open, but maybe you want to flip it open journal on this side, especially if you're not using a printable. Maybe you're just using coffee dyed paper. That would be an excellent way to get another sheet of journaling in your journal. Alrighty, so we've got that done. Now what I'd like to do is I have some flat lace. It looks just like this. And I'm going to cut a piece and I want it to fit right here where the coffee dyed paper is showing right here. And I wasn't like real perfect on that, but that's okay. I don't think it needs to be perfect. I don't think anything really has to be perfect in a junk journal. I think we can uh, be able to, I don't mean to be sloppy, but you know, it doesn't have to be perfect. I'm not one to measure perfectly. Oh heavens, if I try to measure something, it always turns out wrong. So that's why I like easy and simple pieces of ephemera. And then the way you decorate them can really elevate them up. Now I'm using hot glue for this because it's quick, it's easy, and it allows me to keep going on a video. So just a little bit of glue on the top and bottom of the piece of flat lace, and then just pressing it down just to grab hold of the pages. I'm just rubbing the, the glue off the glass mat. There we go. So we've got two decorated like this. Now let's bring in my little dish here. I have some little fussy cuts and I'm not sure which one I want to use. I just brought a few in. So let's go ahead and let's have a look. I was thinking maybe that would be pretty. That I do think that's pretty on there. And then there's this one. All right. And then I have this one over here. I like that one as well. And let's see, no, that's too, probably too pink for that. That one's pretty over there. I'll move this over a little bit more. There's this one. Oh, there's this one over here. Okay, so far I like this one the best. There's this one. Well, not really. That's okay over there, but I kind of like that red one. Oh, here's this little green one. Now it blends in too much. That one's not bad. That's kind of different. And then there's this one. All right, so let's see. I really like that one. And then there's this one. I don't know. There's something about this one I like a lot. And I don't know why, because there's no green there. Uh, there's green leaves, but it's a um, different shade. But I do like that. So let's go back over here that's okay but I really like this one so what I want to do is I'm thinking maybe it just needs a little piece of net underneath no don't care for that okay maybe just a little bit of inking will make me say yes I really do like that green leaf one on here I'm not sure I'm still not sold on this one so here is another one that one's really pretty. It goes more with what is going on. That looks kind of upside down to me. I don't know. Does it look upside down to you? I'll turn over. Come on now. Mm. I don't. That's not bad. But do I like it better than that? Do I like it better than this? Okay, I've got a um, I've got a stamp here. It might set that one off a little more. 
I was kind of planning on having that up above and having this more down below, but now I'm just not real sure. Okay, now I've totally changed and now I want this one. I can't explain my feelings. <laughs> Who knows? I don't know. I just kind of like this one now. So I'm going to actually get my art glitter glue and I'm going to glue this on right here just like this as I was saying I do have one that is an ex will be an example and it's one that has a bee theme going on and I did decorate the inside pockets of the one I'm going to show you and I'm not sure that we will decorate the inside of this pocket I'm thinking maybe not. Oh, I kind of like that button on there. I had no idea I was going to place a button on there, but I do kind of like it. I'm not sure. I thought I had gotten myself some labels because I'm going to need a few labels here. So let's go ahead and let's glue this down, this fussy cut. Now, where did I get these fussy cuts at? I think. They were digitalcollage.com. I'm thinking they are. The stamps, the faux stamps, are from My Porch Prints. That's where they came from. And let's see here. Do we I'm gonna have to glue this on with hot glue where it touches the the lace here? Alright, and probably the same with this. A little bit of hot glue. I do like this on here like that. Let's see. Maybe on this side over here. I need a label. So let me grab my box of labels and we'll pick one out. Let's look at this box first. This is a box that is from by J. Lee Lu. I really like their labels. Um, I'm kind of thinking I want a skinny one. Yeah, maybe something like that. And then this one, well, there's a printed one like that with green on it. That's something different. There's a long one. I like that too. I do kind of like this long thing. That's what I thought I was. Here's a smaller one. Here's one that's darker. I kind of like that too. No, that looks better on that, I think. Here's one that's that might have been mixed in. That might be a Tracy Fox label. I kind of like that one on that, that piece. All right, so let's go ahead and I'm just going to set that down there. We're going to need to ink up my labels here. That one's already inked, but I'm going to add a little bit more ink to it, make it a little darker. And I'm going to grab my art glitter glue and I'm just going to, yeah, glue that on. I thought that was a, a little plug that had gotten on there and maybe it was going to be hard. I'd have to wipe off, but it wasn't. I don't know if you saw that. There was a blob of glue that came out real quick when I first opened that. Alrighty, let's add our little... Oh my goodness, these are so cute absolutely adorable aren't they now on the my example I went ahead and I decorated the inside as well and oh we didn't even glue this one down yet I thought we had let's get that glue down just like that aren't they cute oh I just love them now let me bring in the one right here isn't it cute? It's just perfect for a bee journal or a sunflower or a fall journal. You have lots of journaling space right here and a really nice deep pocket because it goes, it's open all the way down so you can put a nice journaling card in there. I absolutely love this project and I hope that you have enjoyed this video. It's quick, it's easy, and if you have, please give me a thumbs up. I invite you to subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you in my next video. I'll see you there, guys. Bye now.